Okay guys, welcome to my video tutorial. Um, my name is John. I will be walking you through how to set up your Android device, which is your phone, to your laptop so you can get internet on the go. So like if you're going on a long trip or something, this would be useful. You're going to need three things and let's start with the basics first. Your phone. Your phone it, this is a straight talk phone. It's unlimited. We pay 45 a month, or I believe, 45 a month to get internet on this phone and to make phone calls. The good news about this is with an Android phone, you can still make a phone call even though you're connected to the internet on your laptop with this. <coughs> Here in the house, we do have wireless, but I'm going to show you the other way to do this without having to have wireless um, so and you should be able to get a broadband connection out of this if you are going through straight talk this is a Hoi Ascend um, I don't know the model number but is it's one of the older Hoi's that we bought from Walmart the $45 a month plan unlimited through straight talk so if you have one of these phones you can do this trick so that's one of the things you will need is the phone itself the second thing you will need is your charging cable that goes to your phone if it has a USB end on it like this it should look like this sorry don't mean to flash it everywhere but it should look like that and if you have one of those you should be able to do this the other end should be smaller and it looks like that so if you look at the USB this is a mini USB to USB so if you have this cord you can do this trick okay so don't hook up your phone right away. That's not what you want to do. And the last, of course, you're going to need your laptop to be able to do this. Okay. Now, on your phone, if you have service on your phone, you can do this. And if you have internet on your phone, you can do this. The first thing you want to do is turn it on. Unlock it, if you have to unlock it. And you should have an icon for a Google Play. Mine is... Uh, sorry mine's right there for Google Play the Play Store it's where it says Play Store and it has the little symbol above the web browser of the world okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Google Play and I'll let it load up okay now after I go to Google Play I'm gonna do a search and what you want to type in is PDA P D A N E T and that's it and in your search list you should have PDA for Android at the top of your list see where it says PDA Android and it has a little clock by it that's the one you're gonna want and when you go there you should be greeted with this screen the very top one where it has the Android symbol in it the green guy at the very top that's PDA.net. Now I already have it installed on this phone, but it'll have an install button right there. Go ahead and hit that install button and install PDA Net Plus to your phone. The plus means the plus symbol at the, at the end of the words PDA Net. Once you have that installed, go back to the home screen and you can create a shortcut to your icon and you can put it on your desktop if you want to. If not, then it's going to be in your menu settings somewhere and mine's right there for PDA net that's your first step that you need to do now the second step is very simple on your laptop open up if if you have internet access to be able to do this now you can also ins once you install PDA Net, the phone will give you an option to download the PC version so that you can transfer it to your computer. So that's the other easy way. So there's two ways to actually do this. This is the easier way. So if you're at a friend's house and you have internet access, <coughs> go to Google and type in PDA Net. Oh, I'm not connected to the internet right now. So I'm going to go ahead and connect at home just so I can show you what it does look like okay and just click try again and it should load it PDA net at the very top it's right there 
and then there's pdanet.co co so you want to go to the pda pdanet.co okay and um, you want to go to that first link and then but also you have other links within here that say like download PDA net go and click on download PDA net and this you should be greeted by this screen okay this is PDA net right there you should be greeted by that screen it looks like that and then you should have a, a thing right under that, a link that says version 4.17 installer for Windows 8, 7, Vista, and XP. Both are 32-bit and 64-bit, okay? So depending on your operating system, it doesn't really matter because it works for both. Okay, so that's the good news. They also have uh, the download and install instructions for Mac OS 5.0 or above, so you can use that as well. Um, if you go up here to version 4.17 installer for Windows 8, click on that, download it, install it, make sure you install it as administrator. What that means is go to your download folder, right click on it, and you should have something after you right click that says ins run as administrator, and you can install the program as administrator. Okay, that way you have administrator privileges when you're running the program. After you download and install it, all that's left is really to set it up and that's pretty simple now after you have it installed on your phone okay this is after you have it installed on your computer and you have it installed on your phone turn your phone on and actually click on PDA net on your phone and you should see something up here at the very top that says activate USB tether you're gonna click that what that's gonna do is enable the internet to go from your phone to the laptop the same program on your computer will read the program from the phone and actually use the internet on your laptop so what we're going to do is <coughs> all we have to do is we, we plug into the laptop plain and simple okay and I will give you more detailed instructions as we go through this with my clips I have it hooked up. Now it says choose what happens with the removable drives or whatever, blah blah blah. You can either you can do nothing, but once you have that activate USB tether, go ahead and go back to your home screen and then in here when you install PDA.net, what you want to do is go ahead and click on it. Now mine is down in this corner it says PDA.NET ready to connect. You have a little up arrow. If you're using Windows 8, even 7, you should have a little up arrow over here on your taskbar. And you click on that little up arrow, it'll bring this up and it'll look like a black cell phone. You click on that and it says connect internet USB at the very top of this menu list. You click that. And it says connecting to your phone, verifying phone internet connected, and then it will connect. Now I'm connected to the internet through this phone. So I could disconnect from the house wireless and I could use the phone for the internet. Um, however, if you have any questions, you get lost, message me and I'll try and help talk you through it a little better. Okay? It's really not that hard to do, it's a very simple process. All you need to do is make sure you download PDA Net onto the phone and then download PDA Net onto the laptop and you should be able to connect to your phone's internet through your laptop. Then after that you can just set the phone down wherever you want it and use the internet. Okay. Here's the house wireless that I'm connected to, so I'm gonna disconnect to the, disconnect from this to prove that um I am getting internet through the phone so I'm not connected to the house wireless anymore and if I go here um, of course I have internet and to prove I have internet I'll go here to Facebook and it loads decently fast because if you're using straight talk straight talk only uses broadband so it's pretty decently quick um, so if you're on the road you can use the internet real easy just off your phone so it's pretty simple. If you get confused or anything, um, hit me up. Try to talk you through it. Maybe help you get it running a little better to where you can actually get online. Um, that way, when you're traveling, 
That's what would be the purpose of this. It wouldn't do you any good if you were sitting at home unless you don't have the internet at home. But either way, you're going to have to be able to download PDA.net. Now, the computer version for PDA.net, like I told you, you can download it through the phone. It will ask you, would you like to download PDA.net to your phone for computer use or whatever, blah, 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 for PC, the PC version. It'll ask you that as soon as you install it and you start up the program. It's going to ask you if you'd like to download it. Go ahead and download it and then plug your phone to your computer. Pull that file off your phone. It should be in your downloads folder. Pull it off your file, off your phone, sorry, not your file, but your phone. And pull it onto your computer and then after that you can install it and you should be able to connect just fine. Okay. There's not really anything you need to do with the laptop as far as the program goes besides just installing it. However, on the phone, you will have to set the program for USB tethering. And once you do that, then you should have internet. Okay? Um, that is the easy way, easiest way to get internet on your laptop. If you're traveling in a car or something, you're bored and you want to be able to do something in your car so that you can get on the internet, that's how you would do it. Okay? Um, so, since, um, you know, Personally, our family doesn't do a whole lot of traveling right now, but this is just a suggestion if you're looking for a way to get internet on the phone, guess what? Your phone will carries a connection that you can connect to your laptop and you can run it. Now, I would say that this program is meant for Android. It does say PDA.net for Android. PDA Net, sorry. PDA Net for Android. Now, the link to the website is PDANet.co and that is for the PC version download. Now you can go to pdanet.co on your phone and you can um, download the computer version to the phone and then just go ahead and transfer it to the computer if you don't have a way to access it through the laptop. You can still access the PC version through your phone as long as it's an Android phone and that's the good news as long as it's a smartphone. So if you have a smartphone you can do that. Okay. I hope that helps some of you guys out. Um, like I said, if you get confused, hit me up. I'll try to walk you through it a little better. And um, other than that, hey, you know what? It It's a cheap cheap way to have internet. You know, if you're already paying a cell phone bill, you can even have it in your house because it's going to pick up a signal. And you can also still make a phone call while you're connected to PDA.net, PDA Net and while you're surfing the web and if your phone rings go ahead and answer because you're not going to get cut off from the internet anyway because it's not dial-up it's broadband so it's a little different than dial-up okay so that's how you do that and um, I am connected to the phone's internet right now which is that I'm no longer connected to the house internet so that's how you do that um, so enjoy